Right now at 530, Mayor Adams ups the ante in his fight with Texas Governor Greg Abbott over busing asylum seekers. And it may involve taking Abbott on his own in his own backyard. Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. And welcome back. I'm Maurice Dubois. As busloads of migrants pour into the city from Texas, the mayor says he is getting ready to fight back and make life difficult for the Texas governor. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer says the mayor is ready to get political. In some respects, you could call this the political version of Texas Hold'em Poker. Mayor Adams cheekily saying to Governor Greg Abbott, I'll see the busloads of migrants you're sending to my city with busloads of New Yorkers coming to your state. I am deeply contemplating taking a busload of New Yorkers uh, to go to Texas and do some good old-fashioned door knocking uh, because we, we have to, for the good of America, we have to get him out of office. Adam's threat could spell danger for Abbott, who is facing a stiff challenge from Democrat Beto O'Rourke. A poll last month at Abbott's lead shrinking to six points, a gap smaller than when Republican George W. Bush upset Democrat Ann Richards in 1994. I already called all of my friends in uh, Texas and told them how to cast their vote. Adams unveiled his political payback plan as the city council held a hearing on how the city is handling the intake of migrants. Officials said New York has been swamped with over 4,000 people seeking asylum. Given this moment of need and the fact that we must meet our legal and moral mandates to provide shelter, we must expand and be creative in our expansion to temporarily house those seeking asylum in our city. And with the shelter system at a 1% vacancy rate, in part because of the end of the eviction moratorium, officials challenge city council members to help find more space. And we are looking for assistance from this committee, as well as the council at large, to find locations within your districts to shelter asylum seekers. 11 hotels have been uh, opened to house and shelter asylum seekers, and this will continue to be one of our biggest needs. While there are still many unanswered questions, the need for migrant services is only going to intensify. For example, tomorrow morning, three more buses are expected to arrive at the Port Authority bus terminal. 140 people boarded them in Texas. At City Hall, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Well, Governor Abbott appeared to be unimpressed with the mayor's threat, saying people are volunteering to leave the Big Apple because of high taxes and out-of-control crime. Not to be outdone, Mayor Adams' spokesperson shot back, saying the murder rate in Texas is much higher than the murder rate in New York.